Welcome everyone. My name is Addie, today's host of the Blockchain Hustler Show by Blockster.com. And today I'm excited to introduce you to Yusuf El Madarsi of Nawawas Protocol, the Chief Business Officer. Yusuf is an esteemed entrepreneur. He was recently announced to be the most influential young entrepreneur from Morocco in 2025. So let's jump in. Uh, let's talk about your upcoming trip to Miami, December 4th for the Nultra Shows event. What can guests expect? Uh, thank you for having me, Adi, first of all. Uh, and in regards to that uh, upcoming trip, uh, all I can say is that we're really thrilled to collaborate with Nultra and Arthur, mostly. Uh, he's an amazing human being. I've been lucky enough to attend some of his uh, past shows. And what he does is usually at the intersection of fashion, art, and tech. And I think this year is going to be, uh, this year is going to be a really bit immersive uh, evening that will connect, again, culture and technology, not cybersecurity. We hope that our guests will step into a space where art, blockchain, and trust, that's what we said at the end of the day, converge. Uh, you'll be lucky enough to see the most immersive uh, art pieces, uh, real-time visualizations of uh, cyber data, and live performances all night long. So we hope to see you there. Very exciting. And from what I'm reading, this is going to be a 360-degree immersive experience, blending music, theater, technology. But I want to know, and what our guests probably want to know as well, is what are you most excited for at this event? Personally, uh, I'm most excited about the fusion of storytelling and technology. Uh, we're showing, we're, at least we're trying to show that cybersecurity uh, doesn't have to be abstract, hidden, or scary, but it can be felt and seen. Uh, the installation will react in real time to blockchain data and network signals, turning uh, security into living artwork. Again, that's our hope and our wish. It's a metaphor for what Neris Protocol does every day turning very complex uh, cyber processes into something tangible and trustworthy, accessible to all. Incredible, incredible transition. I wanted to switch gears and learn more about Nowis's important work in the industry. Explain to me, how does cybersecurity work on a quantum computing level and how is that different from how cybersecurity is mostly known today? Well, quantum computing changes everything here. Um, the cryptography that we all know, uh, which is elliptic curve, and that protects more than 90, maybe even more than 95% of all digital assets. And that includes blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, banks, grid, you know, anything you can think of really, can and will be broken uh, by uh, quantum in a foreseeable future. So we, we started working on that seven years ago, eight years ago today, uh, under an Irish protocol uh, to be ready for that day. Uh, traditional security also relies uh, on something, uh, on centralized processes or centralized defenses, uh, which is no longer efficient. So no longer we are here to, to try and solve the quantum issue, but also solve the centralized issue that will be inherited by everyone again in the quantum world, where every single node or device acts as a point of entry to your infrastructure or your network. Under our paradigm and principles, it's quite the opposite. Every single node is added to infrastructure and becomes, let's say, police officer or guardian or another security uh, addition. So every piece of infrastructure is its own decentralized piece of data. Is that correct? Uh, every piece of infrastructure becomes uh, decentralized by design and becomes the nodes that communicate with every other piece and validates the security of the entire network in real time. And that new decentralized infrastructure is quantum by design under our principles. So not only the infrastructure becomes quantum, but the consensus mechanism as well. Amazing. So you have real time data updates that are never lagged, never delayed. And so the security is always there for users. Yes, and most importantly, nothing can be hidden under those principles. Usually breaches in any system are detected, and that's IBM, I'm quoting them, within 277 days in the US. And this is purely because systems uh, cannot detect uh, unknown pieces of malware.
under our principles because everything is decentralized. Detection can happen immediately and nothing can hide. Incredible, incredible. And why is this important for companies considering uh, moving on to Web3 or using emerging technology? Why is it important for them to have this level of cybersecurity? Well, the, the answer is very simple. Today, everything runs digitally. Imagine tomorrow, any given company, Web2 or Web3, uh, wakes up and all of their databases are erased. Uh, how would they recover from that? Or everything is blocked and there is a ransomware uh, uh, request or anything really. Like, let's even zoom in to something even scarier. Take the energy grid, for example. Imagine a cyber attack uh, that runs a script that kills uh, the energy grid and there is no way to put energy back in into a city or into a server. There is no recovery from that. That's back to Stone Age. Right. And how soon do you see these imminent threats coming? I know that they are somewhat prevalent today, but we don't hear about them. How soon do you see that this future is approaching us and that companies need to start adopting uh, this level of cybersecurity? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that question into, into steps. First step is basically uh, we're already late in the sense everything is centralized. Uh, you can see hacks coming more and more often, and these are only the mediatized ones. The companies and governments avoid uh, mediatizing their breaches because that makes, uh, people lose trust. Uh, so it's already broken, and with the advent of quantum computers, and here I will cite, uh, I will quote one of our advisors, general, uh, former general Inge Kampenes from Norway. He believes that the quantum threat is imminent and a quantum computer stable and powerful enough to break the NFT cryptography uh, shoots today within the next three years. Wow, wow. That's very important to, for our viewers to know. and for any company that's looking to build on blockchain, that's looking for an, an advanced level of cybersecurity. Is, is your cybersecurity methods applicable to any company or is it only for blockchain uh, companies? Uh, we started Nearish Protocol as a layer one blockchain uh, technology to offer those type of, uh, this type of defense or security standard for dApps and three companies, but with the use of our mainnet, we will make our SDKs and APIs available to everyone from Web2 to Web3, because we understood that, you know, the problem is way wider than Web3, than Web3 only. It is, it is. And so what would be some of your companies, dream companies that you're looking to work with? Dream companies? Uh, that's a big statement. I, I don't know. Like, if I can tell you who we're going after, we're going after uh, uh, large governments, large critical infrastructure companies such as telcos, banking. When it comes to the Web3 space, uh, we're in very advanced conversations with major protocols, major layer ones, uh, very big crypto exchanges as well, because they're also holding everyone's assets so they cannot afford to be breached. Uh, so yeah, this is my answer. So within the blockchain industry, essentially any company that is at risk because of their bridge would need to immediately call you guys. Is that correct? I, call us, maybe not, but at least email us. We would like that, yeah. Amazing, amazing. And we recently just witnessed the platform Balancer robbing 128 million I wanted to ask you, how would you have prevented this hack? Oof. Okay, uh, in the balancer case, uh, a vulnerability was exploited before anyone really noticed it. Uh, under Nearish Protocol's paradigm, uh, because there is a trust layer that validates itself in, con in continuation real time, uh, outside the network itself would monitor and validate integrity. Hence, uh, that vulnerability would have never became become a breach. It would have been detected in real time and people could have taken action if not the nodes themselves in real time. Uh, our cyber mesh architecture at the end of the day decentralizes threat detection, but also threat mitigation and remediation. Every node verifies that every other node's behavior is in full integrity. If a given smart contract anomaly or breach attempt occurs, uh, it would be 
or will be detected and isolated in real time instead of reacting after the hack. So we're trying to be uh, proactive and not reactive in everything we do. Amazing, amazing. So the big difference maker there is the real time updates. Not only real time updates, but for the first time, you get your machine to do your work on human intervention uh, uh, or less, let's say. Amazing. Thank you so much. What's a big way that Neuris is working with Nultra Shows to show off that this is now available for companies on the blockchain to use um, at the event? Uh, we're planning to do workshops. We're planning to make everything very visual and very easy to understand for everyone. Uh, we're also discussing uh, other initiatives that we'd rather keep private at the moment with Nulsha until they're live. They're called surprises in uh, natural language. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. We're we're ready here to 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 have our guests have well to help our guests have a good time, but also understand that security is not scary, but security should be your friend. Uh, cybersecurity should be your friend and should be considered by design in everything you guys do. Right? We understand that cybersecurity today does not bring return on investment, so it's pretty hard to quantify how much you should invest there. Though it's pretty easy to explain to people that if something happens, then they might just lose it all. We're no longer speaking profit or rentability or EBITDA. We're just speaking bankruptcy. So the risk is very big. Right, right. And so tell us more about your token. I, I saw on your website, you have the Neuros token. What is the utility behind that and why would buyers be interested? Uh, so uh, our tokens utility uh, will be uh, pushed forward after the mainnet. We have uh, we have closed our mainnet effective today. It was a big success. We have more than a million nodes running. Uh, the system was really, really stable, mitigated more than half a billion threats, uh, validated more than one million post-quantum transactions. So everything is no longer theoretical, but it's uh, practical and live. Uh, our main net will be live uh, by end of Q1 2026. And this is where the real utility happens. Uh, developers will gain SDK access to build on the chain, connect to our, to our cyber mesh and integrate decentralized trust directly into their products. Uh, that expands by design Daenerys utility tokens and opens the door to our first product release, uh, which will reveal very, very soon after mainnet goes live. At the end of the day, you can see, because we're layer one blockchain, you can see the token as a gas fee. Like Daenerys token uh, is the gas fee for Daenerys protocol blockchain. Well, congratulations. You actually beat me to it. I was going to say, Today is the day that your testnet has officially completed. Um, and remind me again, your current timeline on mainnet, you said in 2026? Q1 2026. Wonderful. So any companies that are looking to build on your L1 should be keeping that date in mind for 2026. Not only build, but also integrate. And yeah, anything they want to do there, we're really open. And it's really revolutionary because for the first time ever, we're not a layer that validates transactions, but that validates integrity of state of everything from hardware all the way to transactions. So that's the full cycle of life of data. Amazing. So on that, that's really the big difference maker between your layer one and a lot of other layer ones out there. Can you dive in a little bit deeper on, on that? Why should companies choose your layer one? Uh, the simple answer is because as far as we know, uh, we're the only post-quantum blockchain in full production. Uh, we've also been heavily validated uh, across incubators across the globe. We won more than 10 of them from national strategic ones to private ones from Asia all the way to America. Uh, so we're one of the most technology awarded companies. Uh, we've been recently cited by a task force from the uh, from the, on the task force submission on the SEC website as being the gold standard for quantum encryption in the DeFi or blockchain. Uh, so we were really proud of that. And just like I said, security should not be a product, but it should be by design into everything we do. And 
as time passes, people will re realize it more and more. Right? Again, I'll, I'll ask you a very simple question. Were you familiar with the term quantum or did you even think cybersecurity 10, 10 years ago, 15 years ago? Not really, because people were pushing everything into the digital realm. Now that everything is there, everything is at risk. So we're becoming trendy, let's say. That's fascinating. So the gold standard for security and my favorite thing you said today was that security should be your friend. It should not be scary. It should be your friend. I completely agree. It's a big topic of conversation that needs to be more widely known uh, in today's day and age. Like you said, we're already late to the game. So we're very excited to keep an eye out for your main net coming very soon. Congratulations on all of your success. And so switching back to Nolcha shows, how can our viewers join you in Miami on December 4th? What would be those next steps? Uh, the next steps would be very easily to register uh, at the Luma link uh, that will be made available by us and Nolcha, if not done already. Uh, or they can connect through our website, reach out to us. And, you know, we're always available. Our team is here to help and assist. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, Yusuf. Everyone go to Nora's protocol to explore the testnet, the token, and to chat with Lucy, their very own AI. And we'll see you in Miami on December 4th. Thank you, Adi. Thank you.